This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl on the dock in Sydney before the start of the Rolex Sydney Hobart in 2022. I have with me Mr. Rupert Henry. In the background is your beautiful boat, Miss Stral. How are you feeling? Well, it is uh, double-handed racing and um, yeah, not many people. A lot of Everyone has a long job list. <laughs> But the first time that we'll actually see uh, double-handers able to compete for the overall trophy, it's sort of new and fresh to everybody, but you've been doing double-handed sailing for some time, having done the Melbourne to Osaka with the same crew with Greg O'Shea a, yeah. a number of years ago. Yeah, we really enjoy sailing together, and um, yeah, there's some benefits in um, knowing well the person you're sailing with. And, uh, it's a good relationship. Um, I do what he says and he does what I say and uh, no one knows who's in charge. <laughs> Perfect. That yeah. sounds like the great relationship and maybe one of the benefits of double-handed sailing. There's not too much of a command chain. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty flat management structure <laughs> and uh, especially when the other guy's asleep. It's uh, <laughs> There's not a lot of argument. <laughs> it is second-hand but it's a custom Lombard 34, people can say. Yeah, it's a Lombard MC34. It was built by Pierre Gall, a French Australian French guy who lives in Coffs Harbour. Mm. So he, he had the design done by the Lombard office in uh, La Rochelle, mm. built it in 2018-19 and he sold it fully crewed in the 2019 Hobart. There are two sister ships in France that do quite well in uh, IRC mm -hmm. and I think that's why Pierre adopted the design and uh, who knows what the future holds. But right now it's double-handed and it's an excellent aspect of the sport. We love it and um, keeps you busy, keeps you occupied and uh, yeah. I think there's a few of us, um, myself included, Ed Soltis mentioned this morning that he's actually finding the, the two-handed racing or the double-handed racing attractive. I myself find it attractive. I like having a lot to do. And uh, and you were the first double-handed team to actually win a Blue Water point score race overall. But as you mentioned this morning, for that to happen in the Hobart, the uh, the weather really needs to align in, in a way for a small boat. Yeah, it does. I mean, these are essentially little boats and um, it's a long way for a little boat. 650 miles in a 34 footer can take forever yeah so we'll see i don't know hopefully the weather works out for us but my crystal ball is not much better than anybody else's the trend overseas is for people to sail two up in small boats because you can sail them to their optimum mm. with only two guys because the sails are small the loads are small the fatigue is manageable and um, it just fits that Two, you know, two-cylinder kind of engine. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not going to get frustrated as a sailor who likes to do things well when something doesn't go to plan. Yeah, like I know there's, there's the Ocean Crusaders racing a TP um, 52, yeah. 52 double-handed, and um, I mean, it's a really interesting project. Yeah. But you know, they won't be keeping up with the fully crewed TPs. It just it's, it, the gear's too heavy, the loads are too high. And um, yeah. I know that a lot of people were concerned that an autopilot was going to give you a leg up and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's to help them out because they're 10 down. So, you know. Yeah, especially when you're, when you're down to one on deck, mm. the pilot's pretty handy because you can go and trim or change the sail and do those sort of things or navigate. Awesome. Well, I'm going to let you go. I know you've got a lot of, lot of prep to do still probably before Boxing Day or are you under control? Oh, almost there, Nick. Just got to have a little bit of fiddle with the charge regulator. But... <laughs> Good to hear. Let's hope that that forecast swings around a little bit for you and we, we see you flying down the coast come the 28th. We'll see. We'd like a reversal. We want the upwind at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't we all like that? <laughs> yeah. But I don't think so. Yeah. Might, mightn't be ideal for us. We'll see. All right. You heard it here first. Ruben Henry on Mistral. Can they do uh, the two-handed overall Hobart? We're going to call it double-handed because that's what it should be known as. And um, we'll, we'll keep you posted here from the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia. All right, we're done. Get out of here.